This clip is about what should we carry in our uh, in our elk pack. You know, like for an all-day hunt, and I'm talking about the necessities. We realize you have to carry food and whatnot, but there are necessities that we should always have. And I'm going to walk over here because you don't need to see me. I'm going to go over the items that we suggest that everybody carries. We know we do it. We whittle it down over the years, and it works well for us. First of all, we're going to talk about our GPS. We carry the 130 Garmin seems to work well for us. It doubles as a radio, so that saves weight from having to carry an additional radio. This particular one will also, it has the function to tell you where other Garmin users are, such as my son or another hunting partner. So we carry the 130. It seems to do everything we need. We also carry a large size black garbage bag. This will be uh, very useful if it started to rain on us and we wanted to double as some sort of a rain protection type gear. It could be laid on the ground for when you're taking care of your animal and you want to open it way up and, and, and keep things nice and clean. It could be used for a shelter. Cut it up, open it up a little bit, and fasten it with a rope or whatnot between trees and make a little tin out of it. A lot of functions for plastic, garbage bag like that, and get the nice big tough ones. I also carry kind of a, a Leatherman type tool, and this little thing has a light on it, as you can see. Unscrew it, comes back, pliers pulling out the ivories, pulling your arrows out of a tree, whatever the case may be. It just seems like you can always use a little Leatherman type tool. Orange flagging. We put this around the, the general vicinity of an area. Once we have an animal down, we tie them up as high as we can in 30, 40 foot range. As we come back in, in tough country to find your animal back in where there's a, a lot of downfall, and you can look at a distance and see your flags flying. So we carry flag and we don't flag it out because we have our GPS, but we flag the immediate area. I carry stuff for a bee sting, Vicodin, in case I was to get hurt out there, my legs or something. You never know where it can ease the pain you can get through. So any type of medicines that you may need, you want to carry those with you. We carry a headlamp. You can see this style here. It opens, shuts like that. It pivots. We like that pencil style. Works really well. We use a mini mag flashlight. That, those two flashlights, our GPS, all work on triple double A batteries. So we carry three of those. I try to carry use units that require batteries that all use the same battery. So it has the function of going any direction I may need it to go. Works very very well. We carry compass maps with us of the general area. That way we can use them along with the GPS if we need be, but we're always prepared like that. You never know when uh, weather can hit, fog, you can't see out, but that thing can really help you out there. We carry rope. You never know when you're going to have to, like I said, use it for a shelter, tie leg back from an elk, tie the rack back. Uh, 50 foot, several 25 foot ones of nylon cord, and they work very, very well in a pinch when you really do need them. Always carry these type of things because they don't weigh anything. Very, very simple to use and to carry. We use, uh, we bring matches, two different kinds. I have fish hooks here. I have flies in it. I carry, there's like 20 feet of line braided up in there. I have a magnesium fire starter. It's just another item that works really good. You can see if you peel that off, you can really get a fire going in a pinch. Doesn't matter how wet or dry it is outside. We carry them in the Ziploc bag, so we try to keep everything very, very dry. The same as the medicines here, no different. Um, we carry a knife sharpener here. We carry two kinds of knives. This is a carbide knife sharpener, very light. You can see all the, the two knives in this can go in your pack very, very easily. We the, One of the knives I use is this particular one. It's a buck knife, a backup, but always use a knife that has a locking blade. You don't want that thing closing on your hand when you're messing with an animal, knocking stuff out of the way, brush, branches, whatever. Make sure you don't get one that closes. I use this particular knife for all the skinning of the elk, deer, whatever. You might recognize it. Comes from RMEF if you subscribe to them and, and are a member. Great knife right there. But this is what we use and you can touch all these blades up, these knives up with this sharpener. Same with my broadhead. If I happen to hit the ground, and I need to tune it back up a little bit to at least uh, get them nice and shaven sharp, you can do this. It may not be the same as a stone or whatnot at home, but it will help you out and at least give you a real nice edge 
that you can feel comfortable with enough uh, to shave with that if you need to put that arrow back in your quiver. So we try to use things that you know are going to be a plus for us in the woods, yet still very light weight that goes in our pack without accumulating a lot of weight. I use glasses. As I get older, I can't see as good, so I have those. I carry a space blanket. It's really good to get the good one, the $10 to $15 one, not the $1.99 one. You want a real good space blanket. So we carry that in our pack. We carry a notepad, pen, again, in Ziploc, making notes, destinations, elk down, we, notes we want to maybe enter later in our GPS, but we always carry something so that we can write down at break time or whatever we want to do. Extra bullets, I always carry a 357 as a sidearm. Uh, anytime I'm scouting or hunting, and these are just extra bullets. This is athletic tape. It's great, uh, like a hockey tape for a wound, a stab, a hit, a cut, anything. You can really wrap stuff up. And never uh, underestimate the flagging tape either. I've used this to actually cinch my son up where he stabbed his leg, and, and I didn't have the athletic tape. And I wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and, and made this uh, uh, work in that fashion. So sometimes you have to use some common sense when things like that happen. I carry these kind of foods, uh, energy type bars, uh, going to be doing it all in the wilderness athlete now. I'm real impressed with that product and the sustaining energy that it does give you. And I leave those in my pack. That never comes out of my pack all year. I carry a camera. This is 36 exposures in the camera on this particular one. And for, you know, when the animals are down and whatnot. So we have a camera with us, so that works out really, really good. And then we carry our elk bags. We have uh, four elk bags that we'll take, and that takes care of our animal on the ground. We always want to be prepared when we're out there, so no matter what, we've got that taken care of. We have, like I say, our ropes, cameras, notebooks. This is what the elk bags come in. They come just like this. Uh, some of you might have seen them on our site already, but there's four bags in there. These are the Allen game bags. They're the outfitter grade, so they're very, very tough. There'll be another segment on those. I carry binoculars. These particular ones are 10 by 42, the Vortex Vipers. I really, really like these. As a matter of fact, we're dealing a dealership with those now, so if you want to check those out, feel free to on our site. Another thing that's in our pack is our Wyoming saw to take care of the animal when he's down. We take the legs off, the rack off, everything with that underbrush, limbs, branches, downfall if the animal happened to die under something. It really works fast, quick, and clean. And so uh, this is the basic items that we carry other than food, of course. We carry all our daily food and then some, always more than enough that we may need. So remember to do that. All these items together, just like this, will go all day and then some if you need it. And it weighs around 14 or 15 pounds once it's in my pack. And real quick here, I'll just show you the pack I use. It's a Super Day pack. I really like this pack. This thing fits like a glove. It's got a lot of pockets. You can see a pocket here, pocket here. This is actually where I put my energy bars in this. This is the big, big pouch here. And then this pouch is where my water bladder goes, feeds up through here, and actually comes out right here. And so I have 100 ounces of water. And that weight of 14 or 15 pounds is included uh, in that total weight because you have to have plenty of water for sure but yeah we carry 100 ounces but that super day pack is really the ticket my son and I both have them we love that pack it seems to work really really good for us so if you have any questions about any of this feel free to please email me and ask uh, anything that you you might want to know if you want this complete list I have it email me and I can send it to you you can print it off and have it for your for yourself and go over it and see if it meets uh, what the items that you already carry. Again, these are necessities. So I think I've covered everything here that I wanted to share with you because it really is important to be prepared when in the elk woods. There's no nothing worse than being caught without things that you might need, especially if you have to go uh, further on your hunt than you, than you plan to and you must stay the night or your elk is down. You want to be prepared to be able to take care of that animal. Having this, these things in your pack will allow you to do this. So thanks a lot for your time. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.